In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating a basic point and click movement example that's been added to the framework. Uh, you can find this example in assets, scenes, demos, point and click movement demo, and then the point and click movement demo scene. The demo scene itself is composed of a basic terrain with a single texture and a white cube that we're going to move. Uh, the cube has two components, a mouse input script and a base object view script. The mouse input script is essentially our object's controller and the base object view is our object's view. Now normally there's also a model component but uh, since there's no actual data in this example there was I didn't find it necessary to create a model. Uh, basically the mouse input controller script is the same as it always has been in this framework except we've added a new click position parameter that is generated by a ray cast from the camera to uh, an invisible plane that's created um, for, that spawns out of this object basically uh, and then that click position generates a world position from where your camera or where your mouse is and then it passes that click position uh, to the view which will set it as the destination position. This pass happens anytime the click position uh, is different from the object's current position. And then the base object view, uh, once it has the destination position, it will, it will rotate the object and then attempt to move there uh, equal to the move speed. Right now, the rotation is more or less instantaneous. And later on, I may add a rotation parameter so that you can actually customize how fast it rotates. But for now, it just, it just happens instantaneously. Uh, so when we run it, you'll notice that immediately upon start, the click position is set to the object's current position, and then that's passed as the destination position to the object's view. And this is so we don't have the object running off somewhere as soon as the scene begins. Now if I click over here in this light, you'll notice the object immediately rotates and moves over there. Um, because the rotation is more or less instantaneous, it's hard to see uh, the actual rotation when I just click uh, vertically up and down. But if I click more slowly, you can see that the object is in fact rotating. If you want to actually use this setup, um, all you have to do is just take the mouse, or if you have the the basic uh, or base object view, um, you're going to probably want to create your own view in your own controller. So just update this parameter right here uh, from mouse input to whatever controller that you're actually using, and then be sure to inherit the move speed from your model. Uh, like I said before, we don't have a model in this example, so I hard-coded a move speed value here. But if you're using this as the basis for your view, you're going to want to inherit the move speed from your model component. And in the mouse input controller, um, you simply just need to update the view here from base object view to whatever view you're actually using. And that's it.